Chong, I'm glad you're here. I think I found something to plug the hole in Tuesday's show. No, there is no hole in Tuesday's show. In fact, Tuesday could be one of our most pop-out, do-you-remember-when shows ever. That's what you said about the aerobic nun. Hey, you know how many video cassettes she sold? And what about the doctor that treated cellulite in men? Wait, well, never mind. Look at this. A headline in today's financial section, The Fall of Tidal Energy. I don't know if you read it. I don't have to. It involves uh, some of my friends. The Ewings. Right. Karen. This is a very, very good story for open mic. A business going under? That's not why our audience watches the show. No, not that story. The up-close first-person story. The story of Gary Ewing. What? It says here that Ewing lost his share of his family's oil fortune. The fall of the rich and mighty. An inside look by someone very close to him. You. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Maybe God made him bald, but he also made him brilliant. Not exactly. You don't like it? What could your objection possibly be? Well, let's see. Uh, maybe it is because I object to the exploitation of my best friends to boost your ratings. And maybe I just don't like making entertainment about other people's problems. Call it exploitation if you want. How about yellow journalism, voyeurism, muckraking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just don't forget one thing. The media is going to be all over you, and they already are. This could be his one chance to talk to someone sympathetic. Gee, Ward, and they said you were only interested in the bottom line. All right, what do you have instead? For Tuesday's show. You're gonna tell me what you found. You mean it? You're just giving up on the Ewing idea? You mean, am I gonna make you do the story? Even if I could? No, what, what have you got? Show me. Now, uh, I wanna get this fitting started here. I think there's a reserve at uh, six thousand dollars. So uh, who starts to bid six? Give me bid six. Six thousand dollars now. Seven hundred and seven. Bid seven thousand dollars on this wonderful deal. Come on, folks. Come on, folks. Seven thousand. That's right. Seven thousand on the bucket. Seven thousand. Five hundred and seven thousand. Eight thousand over here now. Eight thousand. Five hundred horses. Yeah. Livestock equipment. How's the land to last? Why? Yeah. Fine. Thanks for asking. Buckskin gelding card sarge sold to this lady over here for ten thousand one hundred dollars. <sighs> Folks, what have you been waiting um, for? Um, to go to the stable and see if there's anything you can do to help. She's by Jimmy's boy, and we're talking about a bear that is bred back, ladies and gentlemen. So you're gonna buy a two for one. That's a good fact. Now, uh, I want to get this fitting started here. I think there's a reserve at uh, six thousand dollars. So, Gary. Uh, oh, hi. Thanks for coming. Well, Mac be here too, but he's in court. Yeah. It's like a carnival. It's now. one day, and you're gonna get through it. I'm with Kenderson Sales. May I have your receipt, please? Oh, no, I I just work here. I, I used to work here. I just came to say goodbye. Goodbye is fine, but I can't let you feed them. OK, that's the buckskin in the first stall. Right, I'll go get the trailer ready. No fooling around with the other horses. We're just gonna say hello to Silas, and that's gonna be it, all right? Okay, Mommy. Okay. Orisha. Guys! Easy does it, kiddo. Hey, guys, careful, careful. <gasps> Let me do it. I'm not strong enough. Wait a minute. Where's Silas? Who's Silas? Silas is my children's little pony. Where's Silas? The people had a receipt. They a receipt? No, wait a minute. That pony is not for sale. They can't sell Silas, Mommy. I know that. Where's Silas? Oh, no, no, Beth. Mm. Don't cry. It's all right. I know they can't. Now, Mommy's going to go find out what happened. No. I have the receipt with the names right over here. Watch Betsy. Look, Mommy. What? Look. Hi, Silas. 
missed you. Yeah, he missed, missed you. you. Where were you? <laughs> Lots number 300, 301, and 302. We're selling these lots from out of one today. That is J.D. Tractor. There's 118. Alex, you can look at the log books on these tractors. You can check them like service records. I'm strong. Karen, I know what you're going to say. You don't know what I'm going to do. Karen, calm yourself, okay? This story is a must-do. If you don't want to do the interview, I'll do it myself. Over my dead body. Where are the Ewings? <sighs> Karen, I'm warning you. Refusing to do the interview is one thing. Getting in my way is another. You're not going near the Ewins, because if you do, you can find yourself a new host for the show. Don't be crazy. I'm absolutely serious. The thing about threatening to quit, Mackenzie, is you better be prepared to back it up. I've been prepared for months. And that's it? You quit? You got it. And you've got nothing more to say about my doing this story. Now just get out of my way. Hey! What, what are you, crazy? These are my friends, and I'm not gonna let you get that story, whether I work for you or not. Okay, okay. Fellas, who needs it anyway? Come on. There's some sandwiches there if you want them. No, thanks. Not anyway. I didn't think that you were. Do you have any idea how the prices are going? Better than expected. Well, Gary, then that's good. What's that? What are you supposed to be in here? Oh, could you tell me if that desk in the other room is an antique? I'm not interested if it isn't. None of this is for sale. Oh, not the piano either? No, none of this is part of the auction. Now get out. Come on. Just get the hell out! I'm sorry, uh... This is our home! We live here! Doesn't anybody understand that? This is our home! I know, sweetheart. I know that. I know, I know, I know. It's okay. This here is arable land. Prime people, and I mean prime, prime, prime. Just look around you if you want to know what prime means. The worst section is spring fat, and the rest is state-of-the-art irrigated. I'm talking about the very latest in techniques and equipment. I'm sure you've all seen it's heaven for horses. Stables, you'd live in yourself. But pond is natural, and there's a good 10-acre stand of live oak over a century old. Now, I have a pre-bid here with a deposit. At three million dollars. Now that's just to start, people. So I'm sure you're aware of that. All right, I got a bit of three. Will you bid a three five? Bid a three million. Will you bid a three five? Three five. Bid a three million. Will you bid a three five? Will you bid a three four then? Three million two. Three million two hundred thousand. Thank you, sir. I got a bit of three two. Will you bid a three three? Bid a three two. Will you bid a three 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 three? Now three four in the back. Will you bid a three five? Four million. Four million down a bid of nine. Thank you, sir. Got a bid of four million. Will you bid a four one? Bid a four million. Will you bid a four one? Bid a four million. Will you bid a four one? Four one. Four one. Four one now. Four two. Four two in the back now. Four three. Four three. Bid a four two. Will you bid a four three? Will you bid a four three? Bid a four three now. Four four. Bid a four four now. Four five. Four five. Four six now. Four seven. Will you bid a four seven, people? Four seven over there now. Four eight, four eight over here. Four nine, will you bid a four nine? Bid a four seven, will you bid a four nine? Four nine. Now five million dollars, people. Five million dollar bid. Got a bid of five million dollars. 